I'm pretty sure I don't need an intro to introduce this creature because it's pretty well known. So the story of werewolves and those who are able to transform into wolves stretched nearly all around the world. Lycanism is another term used to describe a werewolf, or rather someone who can turn into a wolf or canine-like creature. Probably the most notable story of a werewolf is Little Red Riding Hood. I know most people might look for the fact that the big bad wolf was an anthropomorphic creature at times and he could mimic a grandmother speaking to the little girl and dressing up in clothing. Not something a normal wild wolf could exactly do. Although there are also a few things you can do in order to spot a lichen, unlike Little Red who was not able to see these obvious signs. One, being a unibrow. Two, being hairy knuckles and the backs of your hands. Red hair. Index fingers being the same size. And loving the sweet aroma of raw meat. Now, I know these are all from legends across the world, so yes, there are a few strange ones and some that might not make sense. And most of the more generic stuff, I'm probably gonna leave out because I'm pretty sure you guys know it, like silver bullets, full moon, all that stuff, etc. Though interesting enough, there's actually different types of werewolves, especially with all the different cultures around the world having their own versions, such as the Hamhammer, an Icelandic were-creature, or the Lycanthropos, or the Italian version of a werewolf. It's definitely worth looking into, yet there's way too many versions for this to be in one video. So I'll probably make a list video of this just for werewolves alone because there's a lot on this list, guys. So I'll ask you this, if you know, what is your favorite version of a werewolf and would you like to become that version? Leave your response in the comments below. Thank you for staying with us to the end. If you enjoyed this journey, hit the like button down below and leave a comment in the comment section. I always consider suggestions for new videos and topics, so do not be shy. Also, do not forget to subscribe in order to stay up to date on all things unexplained. Until then, I hope to see you again next time as we take another trip into the realm of the unknown.